So this question is asking us for the value of x when time is 2.6 and we're given a Fourier pair. So somehow we need to find the inverse Fourier transform of the signal that we're given. So the 2.6, that's the value of t. And somehow we need to make these two look the same. So the question is, what is the signal that has a Fourier transform of 1 over 10 omega squared plus 1? So if you look at what we've been given, and you look at that, they're similar, but not the same. There's two important differences. One is this 10 here. That needs to look like that. It needs to be a 1. And this 1 needs to look like that, a 2a. So we need to address those two problems. So let's, let's, do, those, let's do that one by one. So if we first simply take a 10, a factor of 10, as a common factor in the denominator. So I haven't changed anything. All I've done is I've removed the 10. So now we've solved the first problem. Now we have the omega squared here. So that's good. The next step is we need to make this one look like that. We need a 2a in the numerator. And that's easy. We can simply multiply or divide to so multiply by 2a. So I can say that's 2a times 1 over 10. Sorry, what I meant was it's 1 over 2a times 1 over 10 times 2a over omega squared plus 1 over 10. Now, this bit looks just like that. And that's what we want. So now, we need to identify a. So a squared is 1 over 10. So a squared is 1 over 10 a is 1 over square root of 10. So we now have this factor here that's multiplied by our frequency domain signal. So if we find the equivalent in the time domain, that should have the same effect. It should be 1 over 2a times 1 over 10 times that. Which is simply e to the minus a absolute value of t. Now, t is simply 2.6. And a, we've already found. So we just substitute the values for a and t. So we have 1 over 2 square root of 10 times e to the minus 1 over square root of 10 times t, which in this case is 2.6. That is our x of 2.6. So the, the question is asking us to find the time domain value x of 2.6. We did that by finding the inverse Fourier transform using the pair, the Fourier pair we were given. So this is this bit here. This is what we were given in the question, in the Fourier pair, and this is the coefficient that we evaluated here. 
And if we put that into our calculator, we end up with a value of zero point zero six nine and to five decimal places it will be four nine one two three four five so that is your final answer